The following is a presentation on microfaco cataract surgery performed at Delhi Ophthalmic Society annual conference 2010. What you would see is a surgery with a restore multifocal intraocular lens. The restore multifocal intraocular lens has a plus 3 add and is an aspheric lens which gives a better contrast and a better distance intermediary and near vision so after making the two side incisions i am making the main incision of about 2 mm with a diamond knife and this is the micro keratome which is 2.2 mm in size brought to us by the alcon group and we are making the main incision of 2.2 mm this is the faco tip covered by a faco sleeve the faco sleeve is pink so it shows that this is a micro faco sleeve which goes through a 2.2 mm incision the faco tip is a kelman tip a bent kelman tip and the technology being used is the ozil technology with ip which is called intelligent faco now the term ip implies that when we increase the faco energy and uh, the nuclear fragment is hard then at a certain level the ip will get activated and ip will add the longitudinal faco to the transverse faco and cut the nuclear fragment better and prevent it from getting uh, jammed to the faco tip so therefore ensuring that the nuclear fragment moves in more comfortably into the faco uh, machine and the faco tubings so now we are chopping the nuclear fragment and we are cutting it up into small pies or pieces in the capsular bag and then we pick up each piece and aspirate it and if you notice the left hand part of the screen uh the moment uh the vacuum goes to a certain level the ip gets activated and uh, ip means the longitudinal faco faco is getting activated just for a, f a second or a fraction of a second and the nuclear pieces are getting emulsified notice the stability of the chamber even when the vacuum setting is at 350 there is no surge or collapse of the interior chamber notice the position of the kelman tip which is a 45 degree bent tip this tip is lying sideways and the tip is not pointing towards the back because if the tip is placed towards the back there is a risk of posterior capsule touch and rupture the same is a picture when we are now removing the epi nucleus we have lowered the setting but the tip st stays in the same position and the epi nucleus material just flows out now what you see is the cortical material and it is being removed by a bimanual irrigation aspiration system this is brought to us by the duet company and the cortical matter has been removed now this is the d cartridge and this is the position of the lens to be placed in the d cartridge this is the multifocal lens and you see these rings in the center the rings are in an area of 3.6 mm and these impart the multifocality to this lens the lens is designed that it has a plus 3 add which gives it a intermediary and a near focus along with the distance focus the lens is loaded into the cartridge and the 
pusher is pushing this lens more towards the tip of the cartridge the the cartridge is now loaded onto the injector and the plunger engages the intraocular lens and stabilizes it it towards the tip of the cartridge that is the nozzle with the side port entry with the probe we stabilize the eye and now the cartridge is placed in the tunnel of the wound of entry and this is a wound assisted delivery that means we do not enter the eye and only the lens gets injected into the chamber and opens up into the capsular bag at the same time we dial it into position as the haptics open up and now you can see the lenses in position you can see the rings this patient had a post operative vision of 6 by 6 for distance j1 for near and had a comfortable intermediary vision